Today on Tupike, we give you tips on how to spice up your love using food on a Valentine's Day or special occasion. We start with the love bites. So love is in the food, love is in the air, everywhere. So for this uh, specific uh, Valentine item, we need uh, some makate bread, which I have cut in heart shapes because it's rela related to love. So it, I've cut in heart shapes. There's some rose syrup. I've added some water in it to dilute it a little bit as it's very sweet. There's some paneer cottage cheese, which I've shredded. And we have some nuts, some cashew nuts, almonds, and some pistachios. Let's uh, start roasting the nuts, kidogo kidogo, a little bit. Some almonds and some pistachios. You see to it that the gas is, the burner is on a very low flame. If it's on the high flame, it's the, all the nuts is going to burn. Let's remove this in a plate. And now we'll add some paneer. And this paneer also, we'll just roast it a little bit. So the rawness of the paneer is gone. We'll just cook it for half a minute or a maximum for a minute. I think I'll add some more. These are all very quick and fast recipes. Like if some guests are coming at your home, they, that darshna I'm coming at your house in, in an hour, you can finish this recipe in, in half an hour or even less, even less time than that. Now, we'll dip this bread, this makate into this syrup one by one. Is it a... So we are done with this like this. Now what we are going to do is we are going to mix, mix this filling with our hands only. I am not adding any extra sugar in this because this syrup is already very sweet. And nowadays everybody are very health conscious, figure conscious. So it is better to avoid sugar. We will not, we'll not mix everything all together, little little we will mix as and when we need it. We take our one one uh, heart shape and this mixture, we just dump in it, we just put it in, just fill it little bit, place the another on it, another heart shape on it, press it very nicely. It becomes like a sandwich. And we put it in this desiccated coconut. Take another. Now 
don't overdo the filling otherwise the filling will come out just little bit and just close it from all the sides little bit aren't they looking so cute they say you eat with your eyes first always sometimes it may even happen that it might break but don't worry you can prepare it again just take another heart shape so what i do i always keep two three hearts extra by chance if it breaks i can just use the another one this is a very easy recipe and all my all recipes are very pocket friendly and all ingredients generally we have at home do you know cooking is even a great stress stress buster who doesn't love food tell me and when it's really eye catching definitely everybody is going to eat it with lots of love so here we are now so our love bites are ready i'm proceeding to the fridge and we'll freeze it in the normal fridge or refrigerator don't don't put in barafu we'll put it for 1 hour your love bites are ready let's give a valentine touch of love So let's garnish with some rose petals. After a beautiful love presentation with Darshana, she will be preparing potato bravas. Ta-da! It's ready. And here are the ingredients. These are some potato pieces which I have just parboiled and some mustard sauce some chili sauce some uh, sauces like uh, green chutney tamarind chutney and garlic chutney so let's start with the process this potatoes we are as it is it is parboiled we are just going to fry it just for 2 minutes to give that crispy effect uh, you can even add a uh, corn flour to it but i am just using it without corn flour because it can be done without corn flour also basically all homemade ingredients home ingredients which you are not you are not supposed to go even to the supermarket to buy anything extra at an extra cost we will fry it until it is golden brown I forgot to tell you I have already added salt to the potatoes when I had parboiled it. So no need to onges a extra salt in it. By the time this is being done, let's make a small mixture of some very little salt to sprinkle. Half a teaspoon. and a very little bit red chili powder they are almost done even in this some like a uh, little bit soft i like it little crispy ones so i'm making it little more crispy so it depends on your choice the way you want it let's put off the gas drain all the oil till the last drop and let's put it on the serve it
Now to this, we will sprinkle this chumbi and the pili pili powder. If you don't eat pili pili, if you don't like pili pili, you can skip pili pili. Just add the chumbi. And let's give a quick mix so that it is coated nicely. This recipe is also short and quick and there are no do's and don'ts about it. It's according to your comfort zone. So this is the first meal of the week. It's so simple and so easy. It hardly takes 7 to 8 minutes, not more than that. You can use the sauces according to your own choice. This is some mustard sauce and this is some mayonnaise. It's eggless mayonnaise which is easily available in supermarkets. And this is my small garden. I always keep some dhania, some cilantro leaves over here and some mint leaves ready to use. Just garnish with some mint leaves. These are fresh herbs. You are always used to cut only with your hands, with your fingers. You can't use knife for this because as soon as you touch the knife, the nutrients are gone. We just with the hands we cut it and we just garnish it. And last but not the least, my favorite cilantro. So here is the potato bravas. It's so short and quick, and it's voila, it's ready, and it's very pocket friendly for sure. We take a break. We will be right back with more recipes from Dashana.